Cachos, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Excellent, thank you. Welcome to Miami, I guess, first? Yeah, this is I awesome. Mean, Great not weather. A bad, not a bad day for uh, to be wor working, right? Not at all, not at all. Certainly beats being in the office. So we're here about in the Jorge Perez uh, Art Museum. Beautiful place. It's pretty new, it's still like a couple of years. And this has changed the, the skyline of Miami, downtown Miami, so. You brought two pretty special cars, but here in the Jeep Switchback. And Correct. this is a very special car because it celebrates many different things, right? That's absolutely right. So this uh, vehicle, the Switchback, was revealed at the 2017 Easter Jeep Safari out yeah. in Moab, Utah. And it shows a lot of the production pieces that uh, Jeep Performance Parts offers. And also some concept things, some, some pieces that we yeah. brought out for people to have a look at and uh, get feedback on, and maybe it's something that'll be in the portfolio in the future. Yeah, so it's not a production car, it's just like to show what you can do, but I understand that uh, Jeep vehicles are the ones that have the most uh, Mopar parts when people buy the production cars already? Correct. Over 99% of the, of the Jeep Wranglers have at least one Mopar accessory on it when the customer takes the look. And that's, uh, that's 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 incredible. Mopar, 80 years old, right? 80 years in 2017. Yeah, so we're still celebrating. We are still celebrating all year long. So let's go. Uh, and this, uh, tell me a little bit about this car. It's based on what? Uh, because so, obviously, it drives like a regular car, right? Yeah. So this this is based on a uh, on the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, and uh, we've added to it a uh, four-inch lift kit. We've also added on to it a number of other features for off-road. So we've got new, uh, uh, brand new rock rails that we put on it. Yeah. Protect the body from damage. Uh, we've also added to it a set of high top fenders. So we've got lots of ground clearance and it's, it enables us to fit 37 inch tires underneath wow, it. Wow, 37. 37. So you've got all kinds of ground clearance. Uh, for tackling really hard off-road uh, things. Unfortunately, this uh, yeah, this is very, this is, this very is, civilized. This right? is such a beautiful uh, facility. They don't want us, uh, you know, going up and down the stairs. Yeah, we or, could do that. Uh, we I could guess. do a lot of. We could get into a lot of trouble. With it. And Moab, I mean that uh, that event that you have every year, right? Like it, for 50 years, you have it. Already? It's uh, this was the 51st uh, yeah. event was in 2017. And uh, yeah, it's put on every year by the uh, Red Rock Four Wheelers and uh, Jeep and uh, Mopar through its Jeep Performance Parts are, are there. Uh, have been there every year since since I've been involved. Okay. So let's uh, let me ask you something. So in theory, people could build out this car with Mopar parts because I mean you have the part, you have the car. Yep. And you have the parts. <laughs> exactly. And uh, again, there's a few things on here that are conceptual. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of it is uh, a lot of the basics to build an off-road rig we have. So again, lift kits, wheels, tires, uh, off-road lights. You mentioned that uh, all the, the Jeep customers buy at least one part of the, well, put it in reverse first. <laughs> at least one part of the, one Mopar part for their Jeeps. What, and what would be the most popular item that, that, that people can well, uh, what I'm holding on to right here, the, oh, okay. uh, these uh, grab handles are very popular to help you get in and out of a Jeep, particularly yeah. when it's lifted. This is the Wrangler and then you can like take this off you, and everything, right? That's right. Um, we have a, a lot of uh, a lot of folks do the um, all-weather floor mats, a lot of people do uh, tool kits to help remove the hard top, you're clear. Um, but also the performance parts are very, very popular. Wrangler customers love to make their Jeep look different. They love to make it more capable, and uh, whether they it actually ever sees off road or not, but they yeah. have to have the ability to um, create a vehicle that's very capable in many situations. Uh, and they, again, we have uh, uh, many of the things that are needed to uh, uh, to make that happen. Jeep vehicles being so utilitarian, and even though they're so capable, also, I mean, a lot of people. I have a, a perfect example. Of this is not. I don't know, I don't know if it's a true story. My neighbor across the street, she's a young mother. She has like a five, six year old kid. And she used to have like a minivan kind of right. car. And they said, like, I don't want anything of that. And she bought a Wrangler. Really? <laughs> because, nice, yeah. Because she wants to be seen mm. in something like different that like, but it's also very practical, right? They are, particularly with the four door version that we have, uh, very good for young families. Uh, as long as you, everybody can step into the car, it's uh, it's not a problem. So it is truly a, a family vehicle. 
and it's it's also interesting when we go out to places like Moab and we see yeah. the families out there. This is one of the things. So that's, much fun, huh? Well, they go out there. And they got the top off on the vehicle, yeah. and they're out driving on the trails, and they got the kids in the back, and everybody's they pack the cooler for their lunch, and they just go out all day to to experience uh, you know nature and the trails and their Jeep. Uh, it's it's really quite a. Uh, it's it's more than just a vehicle. It really is a, uh, a culture. Yeah, uh, the Jeep has. So people who want to find out about Mopar, just go to the site. They can buy a lot. Yeah, of if you go to Mopar.com, uh, there's actually a special section there for Jeep performance parts. Excellent. And uh, look there, our catalog is online, and you can look through uh, basically everything that's on this vehicle. And they can buy it, like they ship it. And yeah, they, you can buy it there, or you can go to your, with it. or you can go to your local Jeep dealer, and they can help you uh, order the parts and install oh, okay. it as well. Maybe that's a better idea. Hey, mo I'll tell you, a good weekend project is putting a lift kit on a Jeep. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Thank you.